Chew up your jerky, John. Chew it up Chewing and up. enjoy your jerky. Um, Eat your jerky. Leftover jerky mm-hmm. from last week. It's because he, he's <laughs> <laughs> taking advantage of a drunk man who mm, can't leaves, his fucking leaves everything everywhere. $25 bag of fucking... <laughs> Literally everywhere I went. Oh, it's old Trapper? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? That's some good jerky. Old Trapper? Yeah, How come jerky. beef jerky's so expensive? Because it's so much meat. Good. Yeah, I made beef jerky one time. I made like a giant... You, I got like a broiler steak. It was like this much meat. And then I jerkified it. And, and it, it fucking, just... It like shrunk. It's just like it makes nothing. So it must be like tons of meat going into that thing, you know? I guess. I don't know. So it's meat. it's, it's just, so good. It's weird to pay it's that much for, for paralyzed steak. Oh, well, yeah. It's you a know? tasty thing. Whatever. Um... It's all yeah. It's dry. I yeah, have, you're, you could buy a beef steak. jerky's literally like eleven, twelve dollars, and I'm saying you could get like a ribeye at the store, and it's like way better. But yeah, but a ribeye made into that amount of beef would be like that's like probably like three ribeyes. No, it's not. Yeah, Is it for sure. Three ribeyes. Sure. That's a big ass bag of jerky, bro. All right. What are Maybe we, two. What are we rooster Cogburn? <laughs> I don't need fucking. Well, you give know, me a it's steak. like it's an old timey thing. I get it. I watched a YouTube video of this guy who just makes salt pork all day. Yeah, you, you do that a lot. Pork is. You watch weird. I love you. You you got me into Steve Wallace. John got me into videos of a guy that just he just camps. camps. He's like autistic and he can't stop camping. He's places. the best. <laughs> he just Steve he's, Wallace rocks. He makes all these videos where he like has a wife and he has like a nice car. He calls her a whole, beautiful wife. Whole, he's always like yeah. my beautiful wife. My beautiful wife is alone tonight and I'll, I'll be camping. <laughs> Under this overpass, <laughs> yeah, he, camps, he camps in like Belize Station yeah. parking lot. Oh, he's, he like an, he's like an urban camper. Yeah, he does Kinda. like stealth camping. Stealth camping. Like stealth? he tries. To, okay. He goes to like gated communities. He's like, I'm just gonna try and camp under this tree, and you know, yeah. and, and pull this guy up. It's awesome. Well, he also makes really tasty looking meals. What's his name, John? Steve Wallace. Steve Wallace. Camping with Steve. Camping. That guy rocks. With Steve. Yeah, he makes... No, he doesn't make good-looking meals. The meals he look like He makes me hope like I'm having 14, uh, you know, manwiches tonight. Stealth camping in Roundabout. So this is him. <laughs> he's just trying to... He's just camping. Hey, like, welcome to Camping like with an, Steve. The island of I've a street. I've wanted to do this video this for a rocks. very long time, <laughs> but I haven't been able to find the perfect spot to do it. And, of course, that is... A roundabout. A roundabout. We're going to camp. I'm going to camp in a roundabout today. I also know every type of butterfly on Earth, and I can name them. <laughs> well, here's here's what I like about here's what I like about camping. Steve. Here's like about camping with Steve. He he camps in a roundabout, sets up his tent, and then proceeds to get fucked up. He just drinks. Yeah, he does just drink. He gets fucked up, once and then he eats the most food. Once he, he sets so everything up, food. once he sets, it's really weird. It's like <laughs> this is. Like, he thinks he's like creating like m- like like uh, man caves all throughout the city. No, no, that's not. What, well, he's he'll eat like an entire lasagna. He'll like get fucked up on beer and then eat like an like I'm making a lasagna in my camping, and it's like it's like a, he'll eat for like a family of four yeah. easily. And then security comes in the middle of the night and they like beat him with sticks. They're like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, you fucking. <laughs> Fuck his wife. Weirdo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we can He's cut to him. Right behind me is the perfect roundabout. I crawled in there the other day to see if it'd be possible. Oh, it's Canadian. just enough He's Canadian. Room. Yeah. It's not oh, going to yeah. be big enough. This is how you know we're doing so terrible as a country that, you know, it's just the amount. How, He's Canadian. How, He's not even our country. Whatever. The same, you know. He's not one of our countrymen. Yeah, they He's were not one of us. You know, whatever. One of us. But <laughs> just where it's, it's, there's this weird new thing where there's so many people making videos about camping. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tent or hammock or even a cot, but on the ground, I should be just fine. Rush hour is happening right now, so <laughs> there's a lot of traffic <laughs> coming through. He's going to camp <laughs> that day. He's camp there? there? That yeah, guy rocks. It's to calm down a little bit, but in it's the meantime, I've got to grab dinner and it's uh, a just a It's a roundabout in a major road. Tea. All right, let's get. I love that he did like a glamour shot of the roundabout. (laughs) Yeah, like he had to be like, look at him, look at him go. Oh, he also dresses up like he works for the city, so that's like fraud. No, there's one. There's one where he's like fraud. He's there's one where he's like camping in like an industrial, like a commercial lot or something, and he like wears a suit and has like a briefcase. He's like, I'm just camping. Oh, he's the best. He likes to uh, fit into his environment. Look at his face. He's so harmless. He's such a sweet, he's a great guy. Sweet man. He's also got a crazy scar down his face, and I like to think that he got in like a knife fight or something. No, this guy doesn't get knife fights. Imagine if he did though. No, no. No, no. he got it. You know, in in like a horrible like chemistry set accident. (laughs) A tinker toy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Past walking into the over into the roundabout. It's gonna be what's. uh, where we're gonna camp tonight, so I have to crawl under there a little bit. 
I got yeah. this bag of dog turds I'm going to nibble on. That's all he's got is just that bag? I take this. He doesn't Hi, set up a tent off. or anything? Now, he usually yeah. sets a tent up. Because you no, never know when it can rain. I think this one is just going to camp it with us. Nah, then we'll thing. get set up here. Imagine the shits that man takes. You know what's also amazing? He has to go set up the camera, yeah. turn it on. So he has to like get all the different angles yeah. for something. So yeah, he's real bare grills and so that. pathetic. And then he goes home and edits all. Of this. And then he edits it all, and his wife's like dealing with the kids, and he's like, "I'm editing a cam. I camped." Oh, this is and I'm, I'm the, I make a lot of money. It's doing soft it. enough. On uh, the ground here is soft enough that oh. I'm just using a ground sheet. Okay, uh, it's soft enough, foot. guys. We could do it. So then if you cut ahead, it's like... You know, let's cut to him chowing down. He's going to come around and probably uh, talk to me. Oh, so, so yeah, so he usually he gets spotted, oh, right. and he gets all nervous. Oh, this way. And he's like, okay, it looks like somebody is uh, looking at me. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'll just uh, walk around. Just about a perfect roundabout if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I like how he's trying to be all in He's walking in the middle of an intersection. Filming himself with like, a yeah, giant rig. No one's going to notice me. What if he went to the roundabout and Jordan Peterson's already camping there? <laughs> Wait, why? Oh, he's, he's, like, he's like, he's not too much bike. Yeah, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, Jordan, yeah. Mr. P. He's okay, like, so Professor Peterson, what are you doing here? I lost track of where I was last night. <laughs> You know when you, you take Xanax with some alcohol, you immediately black out? I'm a doctor, I would know that. I've just been sitting in this roundabout jacking off. <laughs> what like, men go through these days is just horrible. No uh, no bed to make in this roundabout. He's like, I'm camping in this roundabout because I have an overabundance of testosterone. <laughs> you turn him into Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> he just <like> Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so I certainly cannot uh, just crawl in there, and actually, I think that's a peace officer, which a is peace even officer, um, dude. Fuck these I other countries. Term. They have that here. Suck suck my dick. No, they, cops. They, they do that here too. Really? Yeah. Ugh, a peace officer. All right, let's yeah, get to him chowing. I want to get. I want to see him chowing um, down as some chef boy. Those peace officers are about to sodomize him with a nightstick for fucking camping in the ground about. So. Let's see what happens. A little more waiting, and then I can probably consider myself in the clear. <laughs> yes, I broke somehow a lot like of a pedophile about there. camping. It's, it's, it's yeah. creepy. He's just like, like just <laughs> a normal roundabout, nothing to see here, nothing wrong with little man boy love. He should get charged for underage I'm, camping. I'm gonna camp inside this kindergarten <laughs> playground underneath it. I'm gonna camp there. I'm gonna We're camp in this ten year old girl's bedroom. Her <laughs> <laughs> bed. Today, today I will be camping in the ball pit at IKEA. <laughs> I'm going to be camping in this Planned Parenthood later. A lot of people have been complaining about their children going missing under the balls, but... They're going to walk around. around. And I will say, if you're seriously stealth camping, go in right before dark, set up, um, stay very quiet, uh, don't talk to a camera, don't have any lights on, and definitely don't get out and walk around to show what it looks like on the outside. <laughs> like a goddamn fool. <laughs> but, Am I uh, right? The like... reason I do that is... I love that he has this Still like. Some of it. Oh, oh, what's he? What's he cooking? He's making tacos tonight, dude. He makes the <laughs> most food. He's Look making, at this fucking guy. He's eating. making tacos. He's he makes got, these giant. That's a burrito, bro. That's no, not a taco. And he'll this have like is five what, of those. This is what fuels him. Yeah, you, he's you could shit. tell he like does it to get out of the house. His wife must oh, be yeah. a real fucking battle axe. Real, real. <laughs> Seven has these nineteen sixties terms or whatever. <laughs> and oh, so well, he, it's a real fucking battle axe. His wife must just give him hell. So yeah, he's, he's 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 like I is, he's like I'm just gonna take some fucking like burrito mix <laughs> to the underpass. <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck away. This is the natural end of man. This is like you know how like Scorsese said like Taxi Driver was his most feminist film because it portrays like the yeah. natural end of man. This is actually what happens. Yeah, this no. man just eat tacos. <laughs> under it's not Taxi Driver. It's yeah. Steve does stealth camping yeah. in Roundabout. Yeah. This guy was like written by Paul Schrader. <laughs> it's a Paul Schrader. He's character. a Paul Schrader character. <laughs> I hope at the end of his YouTube series, it just it ends with him like strapping like you know fucking the bomb to himself, <laughs> and, like blowing they, up. They some... wouldn't let me stealth camp inside of this IKEA. This thing up. I usually prefer to use a pita. Then he shows you how to make a burrito. Dude, he eats so much food. <laughs> This is so sad. He's John, why eating. are you watching He's this? He's the man, mm. dude. I used to watch this with my mom like every morning during the <laughs> pandemic. It fucking rocked. Kind of healthy. I did watch a lot of camping stuff in the pandemic because yeah. I was like preparing. Everybody was like ready to go. Everyone was ready. Yeah. Ready at a, at a moment's notice. But yeah, anyway, that's it. Where'd you get whiskey? He does John. It. It's upstairs, but you can't have you any. You fucking cock. It's all out.
I'm sorry. I didn't know you fucking. You're the one that's always saying you don't drink and yeah, shit. True. Fucking yeah, be right consistent. Right. No, we. Well, you want a drink? What do you got? Not here, but after. Yes. Yeah, sure. All right. God, dude, Joey and I this week. It's just the same. It's deja yeah. vu all over yeah, again. Yeah, he yeah. fucking. We tortured that barbecue place again. Oh, uh, what'd you do? <laughs> Twice in a row. What'd you do? Well, I wasn't expecting to do another fucking midweek binge with Joey. <laughs> Okay, but I get there on like Wednesday to go to the gym. I'm trying to use. I'm trying to go to the gym again, and I go go to go to the gym. It's like two p.m. I get there. I go up to Joey's room. He's completely blackout drunk at two in the afternoon. It's a work day too. He's like working. There's a giant empty bottle of Fireball in front of his <laughs> computer. Oh, fireball. Fireball. fireball, Fireball, like insane. Oh my god! It's like crazy. He like drinks like he, he's like, like it's like a call like it's like a thirsty Thursday, <laughs> but he's alone. He's doing like jello shots, like alone. <laughs> so he's hammered. He lets me into the gym. He won't leave. He keeps standing there and being like, go. I want to watch you. I wanna, uh, uh, you better work out. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's like Uncle Stan. So then he finally leaves. And then I just see him. I'm, I'm on the, the bike and I just see him wandering around his pool, like, <laughs> like, like making people uncomfortable and being a freak. <laughs> Then he goes back to his place. Then he calls me like incessantly. Twenty minutes after I like he just yeah. saw me. He goes, DC, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm working out. You just let me in. Do you not remember any of this? He goes, oh, right, of course. <laughs> he does that. <laughs> so then I go back, and we end up. I I like trying. Like I'm just like I stayed to like because I felt I was like I need to like nourish him with like yeah. water. <laughs> like this is insane. Yeah. It's three in the afternoon. So I get some water in him. Then he like fucking, we just, we, then we go out. He's like, come on, let's hit some bars. I'm bad. I'm okay. I feel okay. I feel okay. I'm like, are you sure? You better not cause a scene. Like I had, I had to yeah. say like, I don't want any fucking, no more jokes, no more stuff. No, you go like, to a yeah. place and you keep doing something No more weird. antics. No more antics. I'm sick of the antics. You can't just keep, you can't grab a cop's gun and you, you can't, <laughs> you can't, you know, walk like, into the buddy. kitchen of a restaurant and like steal all the paychecks or whatever. <laughs> Fucking thing is on your mind today. No more. It's uncomfortable. We go back to the mall. Yeah. He does the whole diarrhea gag again. We go straight Every to the arcade. Time. He refuses. We, he says we, we. He like forces me to film him while he asks these people if the arcade still smells like diarrhea. <laughs> again, I have video of it'll be on the Patreon. Uh, and then we go back to the barbecue place late at night. He's like, we got to stop. Let's do. It. We got to check yeah, him out. Really we got to. We got to. Ch ch we got to check in. He on goes. Let's. Things. He goes. Let's check in. Check in on him. We go. Actually, no, we meet a homeless guy out front. Smelly, yeah. stinky homeless guy. Really nice though. Really nice guy. Like not too crazy. Yeah. But sweet guy. Joey just forces him to come into the barbecue oh, place God. with us. So we bring oh, we bring this homeless guy, Alan, in with us, <laughs> who's wearing a God. giant piss stained like construction jacket. And he's just holding these people hostage because he tips them like $300 Exactly, because he, he tipped them a bunch of money last week, so he's like, he's like, I run this place. So he's bringing <laughs> homeless sorry, people I in. I have to shit. What? So badly. Really? I am so sorry. Oh my God. It's gnarly. God, I this is to, insane. I know. Keep going. God, your bowels are so Dude, weak. It's because I just hurry up and go. I'm just like, go. I'm just shit go. your pants. Shit your pants right now. No, no, not again, dude. All right, tell Ida. I love you. Tell Ida, you you fucking. Ida's gonna be disgusted with leave, me. Leave her like twenty bucks. <laughs> this is not okay. So we we bring yeah, tip Ida, dude. She's yeah, handing you paper towels. You know, Tipper, this is a nightmare. Jesus. Wow. Did I ever well, tell you about the time I went to Korean barbecue with John? And he shit himself while we were eating Korean barbecue, like at the table. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, and then he shit himself one time taking a walk around the Is there lake. more to that story? That's it. He just shit himself. I mean... We were having Korean barbecue. We go outside. He takes a drag of a cigarette, and he goes, I just fucking shit my pants. <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, and then he leaves. He goes back into the Korean barbecue place and wipes up. <laughs> John's the only guy I've ever met that can eat, and within 15 minutes after he ate, he's, like, shitting. He, like, needs to shit it out. like his, Immediately. but well, he, Because it's, like, four meals ago. Yes, because he doesn't even. Yeah, it's he, not. His body can't track which meal it was. Yeah, no, not at all. He has no clue what's going on. Isn't no, his, yeah, no, not at all. But, so where were you with the Joey story? Now that we just bring this homeless guy in, and it's like, luckily I was drunk, so I'm like not 
you're like too whatever. nervous about how weird this is. It almost at this point would be sorry to cut you off. Would be better if we got kicked out of the barbecue I place so we can stop wait for going them. Back. I can't wait for them to ban us because it's getting <laughs> it's so intense now. Joey just we keep every time I go every there. Time. If he has any drinks in him, he like refuses. He's like we have to go inside and just I have to fucking run the place. He has to make his collections. He always has to go to these spots. Always making his collections. <laughs> He's like a, he's like he works for like his own mafia, <laughs> the mafia of like annoying of annoying small people. Businesses. Yeah, like that's the that's the equity yeah. is <laughs> is be annoying people. Like like he put, he puts a list oh of people God. he annoyed in an envelope yeah. and he hands it to an imaginary <laughs> boss at the end of the week. He goes like he goes like good week good week. We had a good week. So we bring the homes guy oh and Joey, God. the bartender's like, God damn it. It's the same guy that like likes us, but he's like now like realizing with this hell that he's committed to because like Joey like tipped a lot. Right. And so we got the homeless guy at the bar and Joey's like, shots, get him a shot. <laughs> Get him a shot. So we all take shots with the homeless guy. Oh We're talking. God. We're like, of course, one of the only people there still. But there's still people's peppered throughout. We just look like we're just, we have no respect. No respect for the place. It's, so, and then we go out front and we just scream with this homeless guy for like 45 minutes, like right out front of the establishment. Was he sane, the homeless guy? Was he what? Sane. Yes, he was. He wasn't like insane. He was just like God guy but he, okay. he said he was homeless basically because of like social anxiety and like he's been homeless since he was 17 he looked like he was like 50 and he but he had like a, a plan like he, he's like when i asked him like where he stays he like knows that he's like an expert you know one of those pro homeless okay he okay. knows exactly what he's doing like he has a bike and he has he had a bunch of clamps for tents and okay i gave him like 20 bucks just because i was drunk and i like liked him and felt bad and blah 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 but he was wasn't like yeah we didn't like bring in like fucking you know a wailing homeless right, man right. he was he was just homeless but but reeked like reeked of piss yeah so i couldn't even believe they let us walk in it's only because joey just keeps paying off these people <laughs> i looked at he, he had his bank statement open on his on his computer <laughs> he tipped like three of those restaurants we went to last week all hundreds of dollars he tipped the the filipino place like a hundred dollars what? His bill at the Filipino place was like three hundred dollars, and I was like, "Well, the, your pff, drinks must have been fifty. You must have yeah. tipped like two hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> to somebody that has no memory of you. They're never gonna like treat you better when you come back because they don't. Uh, who I don't remember who was even the bartender there. Neither do I. Then the Japanese restaurant I saw in his bank statement. It was like a $200, 250 dollar bill. I'm like, what the fuck? We did not spend 250 dollars there. You did it, especially. Yeah. He just must have tipped them like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> He's just throwing money out the window <laughs> for bits. It's insane. Just so he can walk around and be like a legend. Just so he could be he's this like, like guy off yeah. being a legend. He's <laughs> he's it's the legend fund. Yeah, he's the little Tokyo Badger. He goes around badgering the entire neighborhood, is, making his collections. He's literally, he's the raccoon of Little Tokyo. <laughs> the raccoon. He's the only raccoon. Isn't that what a South Dakota yeah, fans call him? The, the raccoon. The raccoon, because everybody that I've ever met that's one of Joey's like old friends, they all say that they've all had a night where they've woken up in the middle of the night and Joey's like going through like the fridge or going <laughs> going through a room in their house like a raccoon. So he's he's been, yeah, he's been named the raccoon for okay. a while now. <laughs> <laughs> we brought a homeless guy in. He's an absolute legend. <laughs> oh God! But it is like it's just when it gets to a point where you're like, can we just take a night off of the bits? Yeah, like one night, no bits. Because <laughs> I'm always right next to him, and then I gotta like handle some shit, or like then we went back to the wine bar, fucking again. He bought like a. He keeps going like, uh, like the guys like telling us about all the wine and the legs and the whatever the fuck these right, wine right, guys yeah, say, yeah. you know, like the, the, the notes and the nose yeah. and all that. And we're like just taking the shots of it. Like, yeah, seems great to me. And Joey's like, I'll have two of those. And they just assume he means bottles. So they're just stacking bottles in a bag. And they're like $60, $70 bottles of wine. So then Joey buys $200 worth of wine. <laughs> <laughs> bottles of like natural wine at this place and then he takes it over to the barbecue place and he goes like let's try and get him to serve it again and i'm like no <laughs> fucking use it on like a girl or a, a nice night you're yeah, having you don't just blow this one <laughs> god damn he's just fucking insane. it's like we already did that yeah, you already did it last you week. already did it you already gave people really nice wine for free 
And they didn't even, the, 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 the establishment didn't want you to do that, and they let you. <laughs> anyway, Johnny, you done shitting? Yeah. I, How do you shit so uh, efficiently? Hold up, hold up. If I oh, said I had to go take a shit, I'd be up there for like an yeah, hour I and know, a half. that's because you're weak. But the thing is. No, it's <laughs> not. It's because I enjoy alone time. It's not alone time. If I fucking, I'm going to waste half my life on the toilet. <laughs> uh, you know, okay. Anyway, I, I don't think told, I've taken. Uh, what'd you sell? I just told the story about Joey taking the homeless guy in. And yeah. Yeah. He's been tipping hundreds of dollars. Yeah, the guy rocks. He's been tipping hundreds of dollars hey, at man. every restaurant we've gone to. He tipped my my boss like a hundred dollars. My boss like texted me the next day and was like, "Do you mean to do this?" I was like, "Yes." Yeah, he keeps doing it to every place. Um, I don't think I've taken a shit this week that hasn't like violently stained a toilet seat. <laughs> Yeah, I have those weeks. It is insane. I have it's those like, weeks It's like where my it shit doesn't... this week is made out of peanut butter. It's, I... it's fucking wild. What and it's is coming that out of my ass at like a thousand feet per second. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's like. Yeah. I have those weeks where it doesn't, you know, it doesn't leave the, the, the bowl. Yeah, no, no, it's just. I've had boom, to literally. It's like a shotgun. I've had moments where I've had to grab yeah. a bunch of toilet paper, like, put my hand like, in the bowl, and push it. It's like I loaded a blunderbuss with a bunch of black powder and then just filled the fucking barrel of peanut butter yeah. and fired it into the yeah. toilet. Seat. Well, this is why so many girls are hitting John up from the podcast. Uh, yeah, and the thing is, is like. The. Uh, 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 what was I going to say? Um. Boy, you're uh, really a mess, dude. I'm, well, the thing is, I just I get I'm 11 hours Brain deep, and then shit. I get then I get then I get fucking I get like I relax, you know, and then I got a shit. Right, that's yeah. why you have to evacuate. Yeah, poor Ida. You're like a dead body. Poor Ida. I go up there and I go, Ida, you put your pods in. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those where she couldn't even hear it. I said, you got to put your AirPods in. Ida. Wow. She it goes was, really? Oh no. It was a loud like, one. It was like. <laughs> Oh, the, the, the intro, you know, the, the initial, the initial blast is going to be like, you know, yeah. so super are you Are you in there like through the door you'd hear like, oh, no, I piss oh. like that though. And you guys know this. I go, yeah, Ugh. who doesn't? Yeah, everyone does that at a certain oh, okay. point. But when you shit, do you, is it just lots of fart noises? No, no. This one was just like, a. oh, I couldn't have her hear that. She did hear it. And then I was like, I had to put your AirPods in through the fucking door. And she was, I was like, I had to leave the room. She's like, I can't. She puts her AirPods in. It's just sounds of me shitting. <laughs> I was addicted to listening to people shit. Uh, she, uh, oh god. Anyway, that poor lady. Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I've been sore all week too because I'm trying to go to the gym. The gym. How do how do people do this consistently? It's just the night. I'm in like a constant state of recovery. Everything's so. Like, I, I couldn't go yesterday. Cause it's my all so. Spine still hurts. All, Listen, to these two tough guys. Huh? It's all so. Everything's yeah, you so. Couldn't do it. It's so heavy. <laughs> Yeah, lifting stuff. It's like well, you I don't lift, like you lifting it because it's so you, what heavy. You <laughs> what are you benching now? I don't bench. I lift like literally. I lift weights like SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you can't do that every yeah, day. Yeah, you can. No, not I don't do it every day. I just I started back up. I tried to get. You got to get a routine it. now. And I like I've been like crippled all week. I've literally I I couldn't even move my neck. Yeah. Yeah, it's like well, uh, the soreness goes sucks. away the more you do it. Yeah, well, I guess yeah. I'll keep doing Take it, but really, it really sucks ass. I can get in God there. Damn, so, you know, then you sweat. You're tired at the end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. That's that's working out, dude. It's uh, how do why do people do uh, that to themselves? I don't know, dude. I just like you know. God, John, you ever heard of Kevin Samuels? No, what did he do? He's this black dude that died recently. That's like kind of famous for he's I don't know, he's like one of those like one of those guys that's like in the black community where um. He would just, he was like a life coach, kind of. Like, like he would just, like, tell, like, men, like, how you got $10 in your bank account and you want to get a 10? Like, you think you should yeah. be with a 10? Like, yeah. or he'd, like, tell, like, women over 35, like, how you over 35 and, and you know, you're single and you think it's everyone else's fault? Like, like, need to lose some weight, bitch. Like, like yeah. that type of shit. And he died and, like, I was, I have no clue who this guy was until, like, yesterday. And then I did, like, a little deep dive on him. And, like, so much of, like, black Twitter, like, hated him. And then other people, like, really liked him. Because he spoke the truth. Because he spoke, so this guy, Kevin Samuels, has made a career off of shamelessly disgracing black women for profit. He emboldened the most toxic individuals to project tired and harmful narratives about black women. Dead or alive, what a disgraceful life to live. That's all I got for that massage. And this is when people didn't even quite know if he was dead yet. They just heard a rumor. And he is mm -hmm. dead now. Rest in peace. Uh, I opened Twitter to see a bunch of fat, broke, sad N-words, bitches, 
celebrating Kevin Samuel's death. Never watched the man, but the fact that that man's opinion hurt y'all that bad is crazy to me. He was a whole father. Condolences to his fam. Blah, blah. So anyway, it was a very polarizing <laughs> death. He was a whole father. He was a whole ass father. He was yo. Kevin Samuels was a whole ass mood. <laughs> a whole father. So then I found this. Uh, this <laughs> the way they talk on this website. It's <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Kevin Samuels crazy savage moments, and I think you'd like. Oh, I think okay. you'll like this guy, Johnny. Let's see. Trust Let's issues see. with women or whatnot. So. I'm like sharing my location. So with this him. is him just like on Instagram and people like women like ask him questions on like Instagram and yeah. he's like it's like a live video. And he looks like to make he's... him feel comfortable. Is that Are weird? you? Have you had any therapy? <laughs> yes, I have. In the you, past. You need to go back. Oh my gosh! Really? And you're already trying to make him feel comfortable. Two weeks into it. Right. It's too much proving <laughs> to do. You're not his. You're not his wife. I'm just being nice and being like, it's hey, not being, like, no, it's not, no, no, it's not being nice. It's being, she's a, into it. She's also like into him. Yeah, she also wants to fuck Kevin Samuels. She's she's all giggling. That's not normal. That's not normal. You want to be nice? All right, let's go out a couple of times. I need you to give me $10,000. Be nice. Oh, be, be nice. No. I mean, come on, be nice. I mean, come on, be nice. I need ten thousand dollars, and we need to go ahead and run the soul train on. Be nice. No, of course. Whoa. So you, so so there are things that hell yeah, crazy. Kevin Samuel. Yeah, yeah. Sharing your location with somebody you've gone out with twice is crazy. Mm. Yeah, some crazy okay. shit. That's some crazy shit. I mean, Life. Yeah. I give myself a <laughs> solid nine point eight. Queen. Look at <laughs> look at the look he gives her. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> damn. That's it. It's, she was not damn. a nine. Not enough for a lot of men because I'm pretty and I'm still single. So, what do you want? I, I don't. I, I don't know. I really okay. don't know what I want because. These men, they don't know what they want. He literally, he, of, he talks to women that are like over like the age of 40. Like he treats them like he's like throwing away like expired hummus. <laughs> like it's, he is, he's just, he says like, no, he's just like, I don't, he's like, you're a loser. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> they don't know what they want to win. Mm. You said you're how old again? 33. John, you didn't, you ever ran into guys like, I feel like this is a very Atlanta type guy. Uh, they're maybe they're like reverends or whatever. Here's, here's, but. here's like the the black dudes I ran, ran into in Atlanta is like uh, they would like um, I, there wasn't like a it just I just ran into like the coolest ones. Okay. That was the well, thing. That's like, insightful. That's all right, let's all get right, back. moving on. John has nothing today. Why don't you go shit again? <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what do you want me to run into some fucking guy like this dude, at my fucking cafe? Dude, like, what like, the fuck? The, the only... fuck do you want from me, shit bag? Like, I got some suited guy coming in. Like, I what? asked if you've ever seen a guy like this, and you started no, responding. No, who sees guys just like this? No, then. No, then just I say no. Like your your answer was like, dude. Then say no. Your answer, I don't know. John. Your shut up, Richie. Your answer was your answer was fucking retard, dude. I only know yeah. the coolest black dudes I in Atlanta. Just cool black dudes. That All was I that knew was, was cool ass black dudes. Dude. Yeah, the that's ones like, I remembered were just cool. But that's like every black dude. No, not you. every black dude's cool because there were tons of ones I run into that I didn't remember. The ones I remembered were just like cool guys. Which black right. dudes don't you like? Uh, the ones that don't like. Uh, oh, the ones the that ones? are the ones that are needy. The ones. The needy you know ones. I mean? The needy ones. Look at the ones that the are just like the needy like, blacks. Like, <laughs> Nothing <laughs> worse than the needy blacks. No, they're just picky. <laughs> They're picky. The picky ones. The picky ones. You know, I worked at a restaurant. I'd be like, huh. I'd be like, be like, they're very specific about what they want. They'd be like, uh, I want like, you know, this done to this be treated way equally. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, my God. oh That's another it. picky oh, one. Oh, That's oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. oh, oh you want to no. sit where everyone else sits? <laughs> okay. Like, oh, another picky like, one. Like, you know, they're like, you know, they just have like a million additions to their fucking orders. Like, just eat the fucking biscuit. You know what I mean? Just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so you're feeding them dog food now. Yeah, no, 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 like out there, they have biscuits and shit. Yeah, they got yeah. biscuits and grits and fucking shrimp. You know, they'd, black, be like, yeah. they'd be like, "Can I get the shrimp next to the next to the grits on a plate with like, Wait, you know, and can I have? Yeah, yeah. Can you make me like? Well, can you mix caramel and chocolate in with my latte? That's with the like, reparations. 
Yeah, I guess. And then they, you know, they wouldn't tip you after that. It was yeah, annoying. it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's a super nightmarish thing. You'd yeah. be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, sure, of course, buddy. He'll give me. Yeah, a, of course. A shrimp. No, it's a, it sounds I'll horrible. It. It's great. And then I'm thinking in my head, and then I just get bamboozled that's our, once that's again. That's our goddamn ancestors' fault. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you work, by the way? Red, oh, dude, red this guy, this guy, this guy. <laughs> No, biscuits. no, no! Fucking everyone's so well, biscuits out there. Everything you just mentioned was like red lobster, shrimp and grits and biscuits. Yeah, like, you know when they ask you, like, "Oh, can I have the Cheddar Bay biscuits next?" Yeah, to like, "Yo, can I get?" <laughs> I was the, like, "What no, restaurant can is I get this?" The popcorn shrimp. No, they. Uh, uh, can uh, I get the surf and turf? turf. <laughs> but I want the surf. Do you ever think about how racist your ancestors were? Um, like if you go back far enough, like they were really bad. Sure. I don't know about you, but I mean, everyone even, was. I mean, even I like I one generation, they're. Pretty you ever think about how racist like, like black people's ancestors were, and every everybody's ancestors were because everything black people people everyone stayed within yeah. their own. Yeah. No, nobody, nobody liked other people. Were there ever racist Jews? You ever talk to a yeah. Mexican? They fucking oh, like yeah. hate El Salvadorians really? and shit, and the Guatemalans hate the Hondurans. It's like, and and to us, they all look like Mexicans. Huh. Yeah, but they all hate each other. Everyone's racist. It's ridiculous. Everybody's racist. There's, every country is so almost. There's a lot yeah. more racist countries than us, and we uh, suck ass. But right? Yeah, I don't know. Man. I, I feel just like a fucking, you, you, I'm thinking shit bag. Oh, you think quicker. <laughs> God damn you! you oh, a long day. I hate huh? you two otters. Like Without the, Joey, I'm lost. You're the slowest I'm getting, Buddha I'm I've fucking, ever fucking Chinese finger to. trapped by these two otters. Yeah, that's right. Calm you don't have down. your pal here. Calm <laughs> down, Johnny. Relax, Johnny. This is already. I'm a, on edge now. It's already a classic episode. Now. Now, it is. Now it's now a good one. We're at odds with each other. You already took a shit in the middle of it. God, I'm gonna I'm gonna point out real quick. I have never left this podcast to take a piss. That is true. Everyone else has. I've yeah. never left this podcast, and I had to take a shit once. Yeah, okay. well, it's because you drink but, like a Native American dwarf. You're a fucking lightweight. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Because you're a pussy. That's why you never piss. Only pussy. men piss, because yeah, they've been drinking. You like both have really pretty man. eyes. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. What the fuck's going I on? I have green eyes. Now, you have more bluish eyes. No, they're green. Richie's got these amazing hazel eyes. By law. Green eyes but Richie by law. has better eyelashes than you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyway, anyways, back enough, to enough Kevin Samuels. Shit. Enough, okay? Fucking you play need, this shit. You need to get your finances in order. My I don't know what you think. Who you gonna pull working as a bartender? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> He's fucking. I need, you need this to guy in my life. Get yourself some Gucci flip flops. You need to get yourself a handbag. You need to start acting like you're worth a shit. <laughs> And it's a so, manscape. For, and a manscape. <laughs> you need to get your manscape on. You need to shave them little balls. <laughs> shave them. Shave that tiny dick of yours. You need to make it smooth as eggs for these bitches. Manscape. Promo code hate watch. Go to manscape.com. Promo code now? hate watch. Make that little twig and two berries. We might, smooth. We, we might be there by now. I'm not really sure. We're gonna give them one more. We'll send find me, out. But we're All gonna right. keep. We don't want to keep saying the ad. We hate it too. Like we Landscapes. know it's stupid. But anyway, anyway, back to, to Kevin say Samuels. For no money. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah. no money, man. Yeah, we don't. Please we help money, us. Uh, you know, like we're fucked up. Yeah, like, our situation's fucked. I look like I. <laughs> I look like I owe people money. I mean, look yeah. at me. I look, I look like a nightmare. Oh, Devin's wearing shorts. Yeah, he's fucked. Yeah, I suck ass. Oh, shit. Kevin Samuels. Back so, to Kevin Samuels. regardless as to what men want, you don't know what you want. I mean, I know what I want. But... Well, what is that? <laughs> to be fair, how are you going to answer that question? About ego? They're not willing to be honest. To be honest with you, I ain't going to lie. I don't know what I want in a man. Like, I've been screwed and fucked for so long, I don't know what I want in a man. Just in this little bit of time of talking to you, it's been chaotic. I'm just asking you just the basic stuff about your, who you are and what you want. And um, the sto- way you told the story is... Yeah, you can't make this shit up, people. Here's the thing, man. The way people were celebrating his death, I know we're only two minutes yeah, into, just into these like, savage moments. He does not deserve the level of hate. Yeah, he people treated yeah. him like he was fucking, you know, like it was he was a rapist or yeah. something. It's crazy. Most people were like happy, like just making jokes about him dying. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? He this is he's an entertainer. He's a grifter. He's but let him fucking grift. Yeah. Who yeah. else? Who isn't grifting? Kevin Samuels for Just life. To let you know, I have love this guy. Made it 360. The 360 puts you right back where you were, but I understand what you're saying. I made, I made a 180. I found Lord and uh, I got a man that's got money now. I don't need. You found the Lord? Yeah. Where'd you find him at? I didn't know he was lost. I didn't know where the Lord Damn. was. Black guys mm. rock. Okay. This is all inside of the last four months, right? Three months, four months. <laughs> yeah. 
It's a lot of changing in three or four months. You said you got a man that has money now. Yeah. Oh, God. This woman Ugh. is Jesus I did. repulsive. I just yeah. wanted to let you know. Okay, she just blows her nose Ugh. in a disgusting manner oh, in the ooh. middle of talking to the to the Lord, our God, Kevin Samuels. She's dropping it. She's taking a shit. And he's disgusted oh. by it. Oh, also, I wear my bonnet in, in public. I saw, I saw what you had to say about that. You know, I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, you like... Make this I, shit up. Hmm? At the same time, you what? Did you tell me shut up? No, no, no. I said, go ahead. You said, at the same time... At the you, same time, I just don't see what the issue of wearing a bonnet in public is. Did he tell her to shut up? I, no. tell her I got no. married, but I don't want She wanted advice on how well, to get her married? ex back, but she's married. Yeah. You're currently married? Yes. I'm oh. Married. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ma'am. Are you trolling me? No, I'm not. A platform with a million folks actively talking about leaving your husband to get back with your ex. Because he's high value and I look like... And the reason you want to break your covenant with God oh, this and wreck your home oh of the pipe fitter guy is because the previous guy was higher value, meaning he earns more money? Yeah, and his social status, how he looks. What would the world say about that man? It would say that this woman he got back with is the one he always wanted. Yeah. She belongs and to the streets. Like, yeah. <laughs> she for the streets. She belonged to the streets. Yeah, this guy is like yeah. harmless uh, so far. I mean, I'm waiting for the videos where he's like, kill yourself, you dumb whore. Like, <laughs> when does that happen? They always want to take me to court. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> it means that it's like when I break up from with a guy, I go through divorces because they can't take me leaving them in the dust, in the dirt, where I left them at. Right. He's just like an so internet to, Maury. Yeah, exactly. Is that right? Do you think that that's right of them? Why are you so? Why are you? Why are you such a poor judge of character to pick me and you gotta leave? Mm. Oh damn! No, oh damn! Why oh, are man. you such a poor judge? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I listened to what you said. You came what? in talk about how you feel like you in divorce court because you gotta leave these men in the dirt. And all I hear is you a shit judge of character picking men because you don't leave quality men. <laughs> You absolutely right. So God, please stop sending me. That's no, no. God ain't got nothing to do with it. No, God ain't got nothing to do with it. Please Damn don't bring right. my God into this. I love how he's a Christian man. Yeah, that don't rocks. you bring God into he's this. He's like, fuck he you. Have children. He's like, don't you he's bring. He's like, I didn't know Jesus was lost. That Black was guys are like Christian. Like they're like Christian, but they're like they don't yeah. they don't let you not be like funny and like say shit. Yeah. That's what I love. That's like the cat. They're, they're opposites like, of cat. They're like, don't blame God, you trifling asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, so you're a Christian man, but I can still call women hoes. Uh, All right, I'm into it. Yeah, that was awesome. Love it. Let's skip a little ahead. I want to get to, is there any juice? Does he ever get like, so far I have not seen at any moment that is, has allowed for people to be happy this man died. Right? Yeah. This is, I'm starting to get like a little creeped out. Like what the it fuck It just sounds he like do? he's opinionated. He's quite just frankly, a tough love yeah. guru. Yeah. yeah. And he, honestly, he's telling I will say this though. You've gone cool. from 35 to 43. Just like that. That's God amazing. Damn. I did, didn't I? Yeah, he's like, God damn, this is crazy. Oh, that this is this was a good one. This was a good a, one. But then, well, so she lies. She lies about her age. I will let you guess that. I don't. That I, I don't. I don't play these games. You either answer my questions or I'll bid you a good night. Forty-three. Okay. One thing I don't do is I don't do these things. No, I don't know you, so you've been know, married. To, we all know this. Keep going. But then, well. I will say this though, you've gone from 35 to 43, just like that. That's amazing. I did, didn't I? Yeah. Gee, just crazy. Psycho, <laughs> I don't just, like riots. And then he just moves in and he just like drops her from the wall. She Not wants him to stop promoting marriage. Relationship. You don't have to put a title on everything, Kevin. That's what you need to start telling these people. A title, you know. No, I need, I need to, what I need to do is I need to direct people to this video and show you what's wrong. You don't need to put a title on nothing. It needs to just be free flowing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And, and over here, stuff works. Where you at, it don't. 
You don't need to put a title on everything. You can have you can have you can have babies out of wedlock. You don't need to be married. You can do what you want to. So mm-hmm. what? What, what We're is the only community that big operate. gripe with him is that he's a misogynist. He is doesn't that seem it? Like, a like what? What are the like claims? A... Like what? What did he do? That he's just like insulting, kind of. Um, he's just tough. Yeah, he's tough love. He's tough. I don't think all he I can care say. This is on Twitter. People. All I can say. He's judgmental. This has ten thousand retweets. All I can say about Kevin Samuels is, if you spend your time disrespecting people in life, don't be surprised at people disrespecting you in death. No matter how cruel it may be, the legacy you leave behind will be known by the fruit you bore while you were here. I mean, that video. I I can't imagine that that's what these people. I don't know. I have no clue. Like, how could that be enough for these people to say they, what they're saying? In, about at him? least in those videos, the people came to him. I'm yeah. sure he's spoken openly on platforms or whatever, and then it drew them in. But right. it's like, but they're just... acting like he was like harassing people. These people were calling into him, and right. he was then telling them what he thought. So they already liked him, right? And they already secretly agreed with what he said about people and yeah. life. They're looking so for someone to tell them what they don't want to hear. It, it blows my mind that like a lot of these like clap, you know, these Twitter fucking, you know, what do you call them, like. SJWs. I don't know. I hate even yeah. using that term. It's well, this so is a, yeah, you're right. Like, so you you're telling like, look at this, I, I look hate at this tweet. that these people are so, so what was it saying? So you're telling me Kevin Samuel said high cholesterol and had a whole heart attack and wanted to talk about fat women? Okay, here's the deal. That's kind of funny. But uh, the thing is, is like, like, they're, they're so surprised that a Christian older black man has this opinion. Like it blows their minds. Well, these that are black people has, mostly talking about it. Yeah, who get, no, that yeah. doesn't mean anything. It's it's that this is who he is. He's not being ashamed about who he is. Who he is. Like I, this harkens back a memory of something that was that was a it was almost like a repeat of this a while ago. It was it was the same kind of thing where it was like these people have no concept of another pr- opinion to the point where they're like, oh, we're so blissfully unaware that like of course this man thinks this way and of course he's going to speak this way and he's totally upfront with who he is and what he's saying. Why are you? Why are you surprised or angry? Mm-hmm. Why are you this level of angry? It. Blo- I mean, I. I get it. It's because like, he hits a hits a nerve with the truth. Yeah, he hits a nerve, but it's like people I, hate that. I want to. Everyone. Say, we live in an age of lying. Every. You're literally yeah. a. Pe- you're considered a bad person if you tell the truth. You it's realize insane. that. That's how crazy we've gone. I forget who said it. Some the smart guy. Oscar Wilde. Yeah. Uh, soon society will drift so far from the truth that it will it will oh, no, call no, no. the people that speak it crazy or no, it'll, no. it'll it'll villainize the people. It was like George Orwell or something oh, okay. like that. The Oscar Wilde quote is like, if you're going to tell the truth, you better make people laugh because otherwise they'll kill you. Right. And that's yeah. another one. But yeah. yeah. Like it's even like, it's a, you, you can even flip this and who is the fucking, who's Trump's vice president? The fucking psycho. Mike Pence. Mike Pence. Why are you surprised? Like, why are you flabbergasted at this man's opinions? Right, he's right. a Christian right wing extreme. No, like, people acted like they hadn't Christian they hadn't seen politicians for the it's last like, fifty years before that. It's guy. like, are yeah. you retarded? Yeah. yeah, can you just? Why are you so furious about this? And what are you going to change by saying these things? Mm-hmm. Blows my mind. Anyway, he's fucking. Be- it's like it's like complaining about how gays are treated in Iran or something. It's like, well, what the fuck do you? What do, what do you think? You know. Right, yeah, it's it's people that have uh, infantile views of everything, <laughs> and if you if you if you fuck with that a little you know. bit, they go like, I, I, "It's not nap time." I, they're like kids. It's we're dealing Read with children. Bible. Everyone's a kid. Read the well, fucking well, Bible. Well, being a realist implies uh, that there's nothing to change, or that we we can't do anything, which I believe we cannot. So I'm I'm kind of uh, you know I just that's that's where I'm coming from. I'm negative, I guess. But it's such a, all these problems are so big, but, uh, you know, everyone likes to act like, no, I'm going to change it or we're going to change it. And it, it, it's talking like that. that well, there's yeah, too many, you know there's, what? Just, there's gonna, just too many people. It's there's not too many talking. people that believe this shit. I'm you need to, you need that. to get a strap. You need to get the strap. You need, you get, you need to load up a gun yeah. and you need to take action. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You That's know the what, only way to no, do honestly, it. It's That's really the only way to make moves. All of these, all of these, all of these, all these protests. If you care, which I do not, you think where a fucking pussy hat is going to do anything? Go kill a man in Times oh, Square. Oh, wow. I didn't know you guys were so cool. Anyways. Go chop uh, a man's head off in Times Square that raped somebody, and then yeah. maybe that well, here's, will here's cause the thing. some here's change. Your, here's your two courses of action, because you're not going to change these people's opinions with your fucking lame Go ass Go assassinate. Tweet. Kill me in Times Square, Wait for them Square, to please. die. <laughs> you wait for them to get old and die. 
<laughs> or you firebomb their house at three in the morning. Yeah, you know what good. I mean. Like, yeah. what do you what exactly. you what do you think? What are your you're gonna, options? You're gonna you're gonna exactly. that's and that and these people and these people think that like this public shaming, this whole like cancellation thing is gonna work. It's just causing people to double down. Stop. Oh, it just makes them more hateful. Yeah, double yeah. down. Enough enough community They're doubling down. Enough community organizing. Organize a militia. Yeah. And not some fucking <laughs> lame ass Antifa shit either. No. Don't burn a fucking, you know, a Reebok store down. Okay? No. Get calculated. Mm-hmm. Okay? Get smart. You know? Try. Okay? Think about things. Get yeah. it. 3D Get. print stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay? Scratch serial numbers on have, things. Have safe houses. In different so, areas, have, yes. have methods of communication between each other. Where if one person As, was to be found, they wouldn't know how to communicate make to your the own third la- person. Make your own language. You, know? you could do that. You yeah, know? you can. You can easily do that. You know, because you're going to want to communicate outside yeah. of what the government can yeah. track. Mm-hmm. Uh, facial recognition technology is becoming get a get a car that isn't ca- on star capable well, made before cares. 2006. Nobody actually wants anything to cha- like it's that's, be- just, well, that's they because just, they want to profit off. Here's of it. the thing is people it's so much easier to be to gain sympathy than it is to gain success in doing things mm-hmm. like that, you know like a sass. That sounds like something Samuels would say. You know what I mean? Kevin Samuels would say that. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's like it's like these people go on and be like, yeah, all it's that shit. It's easier to gain sympathy than success. Kevin Samuels yeah. would be like, how you gonna kill the president? You ain't got a scope on your rifle. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even put scope in your mouth. Like, you sting. He goes, get out of my face, pull lazy up, bitch. Pull up what the DC sniper, the trunk of his car looked like. <clears throat> Let's oh, just what show a, this what a rig. Quick. Let's show, oh my god! What a best fucking rig, rig on planet it was Earth! Incredible! It was like it was like made by Michael Bay. Okay, if, uh, listeners, if you <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? DC sniper trunk, yeah, that was a whole father right this there. This guy was a, a whole ass. Move. He was a whole ass father. Yeah, this dude was a whole ass. Look at move. there's a there's a diagram. Look at look down. Look at that bottom left picture. This dude had an AR-15 or whatever. He had a scoped rifle. No. He, had sni- he had a sniper. He, had a, he, drew, he basically removed the rear seat of his car, okay, so he could lay down in it, draw the little tiny Blue hole Chevy in the Caprice. trunk of his car, and then would snipe people from the back. You couldn't find this guy. Yeah. And he yeah, was just, right? like, killing bad that people, was, right? That shit was so scary Tom. when I was a kid. No, he was Oh, yeah, because I was around was, you. He was yeah. killing everybody. Yeah. He was, he was, was that a black guy? When I was a kid, this, yeah, yeah. Muhammad. Awesome. Yeah, he was, like the fir- he was like the first black serial killer I ever heard of. Yeah. When I was uh, a kid, I was terrified. I was terrified. But yeah. Just the thought was of a, getting sniped randomly was yeah, terrifying. Yeah, like GTA three. Because I remember they were telling people in DC to like not even go, don't even go to the gas station. Like just like yeah. stand at the gas station. No, I like remember terrifying. the first day it was happening. I was at my uh, friend's house, and I was like about to leave, and then his mom was like, "Stop, stop, 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 stop!" And like I was just walking like a couple blocks. She wouldn't let me walk. I just like waited there until my mom picked me up. One of the shootings was at this like gas station. Uh, right near my friend's house, like in Aspen Hill. Jesus, it was crazy. I used to go there all the time. Like How I, long was I would he take like the bus out up there. on doing his uh, his business? I want to say it was like they had two a, three weeks. They had a really it was a hard while. Time yeah. yeah, yeah, they yeah. did. Right? He yeah. had a he had a buddy. He like his trained son. like his son or his son. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Right. So that's why I kept, well, saying, can that's do why more. I kept saying he's a whole father. He's a whole ass. Father. This is a whole ass father. Any march, you. I agree. This will do more than any Twitter hashtag. Well, you got to kill okay. people that matter, though. You yeah, can't just yeah, kill yeah, random people. Know. There's people, like, you know, there's uh Also, I love CEOs how in the diagram they made the guy white. Of petroleum companies. <laughs> in this right? fake little thing. There's people that have, uh, we've all received low-level mm-hmm. lead poisoning because of their actions and oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, no, that, like, if you have a problem That would with, be cool. If you have a problem with Elon Musk yeah. buying Twitter... Don't leave Twitter. I'd respect you more if you fucking go out and yeah. make some moves. Yeah. Do, be a whole ass make, move. Yeah, make a whole ass move. <laughs> a whole move. A, a whole assassination. Make a hole in the trunk of your car. A whole yeah, ass hole. A whole, hole in the a whole ass hole. <laughs> Yeah, it's like fucking. It, yeah, that's the problem with revolutionaries these days. They just ain't a whole ass move. Yeah, no, like, they have ass. And, they have ass. Carlos, assin Carlos the, move. the Jackal was like hi, hijacking airplanes every like fucking week in the seventies. Yeah, and he's getting away with it. Who Carlos? Who's he's like a famous terrorist? Carlos the Jackal. Yeah, I watched the whole miniseries. On. I was like, nice. that was the, the what shit. What a name! Yeah, he's the coolest guy. He was Peruvian or something. He just kept hijacking planes and taking embassies over. The guy was the coolest. <laughs> like do shit. Like like do some real ass shit. Get a yeah. gun. Yeah. Stop take, being a fucking take to loser. The streets. Yeah. 
So this is what it looked like. It kind of looked like Walter White's, like at the end when he killed the Nazis. Uh, you have a little cooler in there for sandwiches? Yeah, he had a, he had a cooler in there. <laughs> he had for, a couple of Gatorades in there. For Arizona iced teas. You know, was, <laughs> Come please, Johnny, drink Powerade. He had some backwoods rappers in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's hotboxing his assassination drug. He's hotboxing the drug <laughs> He's hotboxing. that he's shooting I want to buy from. that car so I can hotbox that trunk. Look at this trunk. If we reach 50,000 Patreon subscribers, we will buy the DC sniper car and hotbox the trunk. <laughs> So he was from New Jersey and he drove down to DC. Another, why is it got, another genius move. Why is it got Jersey plays? Another smart. fucking genius move. Yeah, that move. is smart. If he did that, another genius move. I mean, not not having the Jersey plates, but going to a different state to do things. Yeah. And yeah. then going back to your home state. Look at this. He made it comfy for himself, too. I think it's like, yeah. a, it's not like a pillow or he had like orthopedics. No shell casings were left at any of these places, you know? No They're real evidence. Drunk. Yeah, how'd they catch him? Look at that shit. Oh, yeah, no, nah, that's fucking too much. Yeah, they got him. They got him. Doesn't they matter how. Got, they just got him. Doesn't got matter him. Yeah, how. Yeah, we don't need to see, but, you know. Point is, they got him. If you don't have an alibi, you know. No, it's someone, easy to someone, get I think someone spotted him. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they made a movie about it, but I didn't want to watch it because it just creeped me out. Yeah, I'm a little scared. Um, yeah, anyway. All hey, right. uh, hey, Back folks. Back to Wallace. <laughs> hey, folks. John. Yeah. Our gal. Amber Heard took the stand this week, what? buddy. What? Yeah. This bitch. It's the trial of the oh century. Oh, my God. Trial of the century. Neato. Uh, and I got a lot Kevin on this. Costner? First off, this trial is hilarious and insane. There are so many ridiculous moments. John, did, did, Richie didn't even know this. This woman farted on the stand the other day. What? And then called it out. She goes, yeah, that was me. What a gal. Check this out. Can you just describe for those of us who have no idea, like myself, um, what does Arnica cream look like? Um, oh, sorry, that was me. Um, it's <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Cream. I'd scramble up there like a goblin. Oh, my God. What is that, Mozart's girlfriend? Uh, I'd scramble like up there like a goblin and try to shove it in a scuba tank. No idea, like myself, um, what does Arnica Dude, cream look I've like? never seen anything that, like public like this that has had so many, that has involved <laughs> like, so many women and their bowel movements. It's like a Benny Hill this episode. This is insane. Amber is shitting all over the house. <laughs> this woman takes the stand and she just shits herself. <laughs> She's just sharding on the stand. Who, who is she, by the way? I don't Why'd know. Why'd she make that noise? Why'd she make that movement? Obviously, it's Amber's best friend. They yeah. both just sit around farting with each uh, other like Ter Amber and this girl, like, like, like Terrence and Philip. Well, she was trying to move one ass cheek away so that it would be silent. Yeah, you she know, lifted she, it up. She just did it up. But her she, she her fat ass made it make a big sound. <laughs> yeah. her, her, big, pog. her big pog cheeks <laughs> made that baby She's quite sing. beautiful. I mean, look at her neck. Yeah, oh, beautiful. But I'll, yeah, um, I can never look at her again. She farted. Right. Right. Women, are women are supposed to go through life never letting you know they was Johnny, ever did they have Johnny Depp's reaction to this? Those of us He's who like, uh, I don't think she made a grumpy. He probably had a traumatic reaction. He's like, oh, uh, no, yeah. not again. Like, <laughs> I mean, she knew her bed. it's literally insane, though, this trial, like the moments here. I can't believe that lady farted on the stand. That was, And then she called it out. Kevin Costner calls yeah. out Amber Heard. Kevin Costner rocks. Kevin Costner Costner's said involved? that, okay, Amber Heard appeared in the 2014 movie Three Days to Kill with Kevin Costner. The two were at the movie's after party, and Amber Heard was singing the praises of her then-boyfriend, Johnny Depp, for all to hear. Probably for attention, since using his name is about the only way she can get it. At least <laughs> one person at the party wasn't impressed with Heard's name dropping. Kevin Costner called her out, saying... When you broke up with him for a day or two, though, it didn't take you long to find your way into my trailer naked, though, did it? <laughs> <laughs> he said it in front of 10 people or more. <laughs> <laughs> this has reportedly been confirmed by other people who are at the party. What a fucking I king. mean, I don't know if that's true, but that if that is, that's Oh, insane. my God. And, she likes old dudes. You know, with her history, of course it's true. He used to pump gas next to me. I'd wake up in the morning. He lives near me. He lived near me where I grew up. Yeah, I'd go, I'd go to the fucking Chevron station. He'd have like eight ATVs. Well, he's He'd one just of those be filling up with gas. He's one of those guys that He'd just he, be filling the ATVs with awesome. like gas and fucking Amber Heard. He legitimately thinks uh, he's like a cowboy. You really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. fuck him, let him. Yeah, he's he's one of those actors that has lost his mind. Yeah, he's lost his mind. I'm like, sure he knows Sam about Elliott horses. Go Did you around? see that Sam, field? Don't bring Sam Elliott into this. That man. He, he a, thinks he's a cowboy too. He has a great voice. You, you know, you're. Yeah, Sam Elliott thinks he's a cowboy and he's just from like Sacramento. Yeah, like, um, 
But uh, yeah, okay. So anyway, this is uh, oh, you were about to say something about uh, Kevin Cosner. Kevin Cosner. He um did the you ever see the Field of Dreams thing? Yeah. The movie Field of Dreams. Uh-huh. So the MLB did like a Field of Dreams game like a year or two ago where they yeah. reenact they do it in like a corn like a yeah, field at a cornfield and shit. And then they have all the White Sox players like walk out of the cornfield and Kevin Cosner's the first one and you could tell he legitimately thinks like he created baseball. <laughs> <laughs> and you have that, a video? Like and that the I'll fe- pull that like up. he he really did a, like when I <laughs> I was watching it at my buddy's house and I was like Kevin Cosner is selling this so hard he must actually think he's in Field it, of Dreams it's hard and it's for me real. to separate the ego of men versus the ego of the actor you know what I mean mm-hmm. like part of me is celebrating the ego of just like some retard man <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> Amazing. Uh, oh, God. imaginations are infinite. <laughs> this is Fox News or Fox Sports. I'm not sure I could play that. Uh, hold on, hold on. There was another clip of it. That's MLB.com. God damn it. I wonder if we will get taken. I don't know. In Major League Baseball, fuck you. you this one. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Hold on. Look, okay, there he is. He's t- <laughs> oh, there's the intro. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. This kicks ass. <laughs> Our imaginations are make it full screen. Sculpting a baseball diamond from a farmer's field. God, he's cool. Iowa. Longing for summer as seasons are painted on its canvas. Once this game and this land touches you, the wind never blows so hard again. Hey, Dad? You want to have a catch? <laughs> I'd like that. I'm Kevin Costner, and on this field, we once made a movie about dreams of baseball in years gone by and much more. <laughs> a naked Amber Heard just wanders to the corn. <laughs> character, the treasure of a single day. Yeah, Amber pops out of one of the cornfields and does America like come here finger. The heroes of our youth for over a century. Get over here. Those who ran She's on fucking a corn stock. I'm on break with Johnny. Johnny. Touching bases as white as clouds. <laughs> Tonight we pause time. Really, he believes in every movie he made is August, real. Two major league teams gift us a forever moment. Damn, look at that guy. The White Sox, the Yankees. Damn, baseball sure has Come changed since the fifties. <laughs> you got a bunch of Puerto Rican guys with big chains on, <laughs> yeah, wandering out of cornfields. Cuba and the Dominican Republic. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it was like in 1950. Yeah, a bunch of, a bunch of Dominican yeah, guys. Daddy with Yankee tattoos. wandered out of a cornfield <laughs> and hit a home run. <laughs> <laughs> the legend of Bagger Vallejo. <laughs> Uh, Here we go, and then, and then it he cuts. Just gets to- mugged in the cornfield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets stabbed. <laughs> Those fucking Puerto Ricans stabbed me. He had a switchblade. A <laughs> <laughs> hey, fool, you in the wrong. So then it cuts field. to the live. <laughs> <laughs> it cuts to the live feed, and he walks out. And look at how hard he's selling this. <laughs> <laughs> He turns around, there's th- three switchblades in his back. <laughs> this is like Apocalypto. <laughs> yeah, look at him. <laughs> it's like Apocalypse. Yeah, court. he's the finisher. <laughs> he kills everybody that's got to bones escape. in their nose. <laughs> Why is he dressed like Hannibal at the end of fucking Silence of the uh, Lambs? He's dressed like he's, you know, having a weekend in the Hamptons or something, yeah. but. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> aerial shot of this look at look at him look, oh, at, look at him stand and look around all confused like whoa the you smile people, and wave you fucking ass you people are all here i was just working in my corn he knew he was like i'm gonna get halfway through i'm gonna take my sunglasses yeah off. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah smile yeah. and wave he goes i'm starting to think this is a field of dreams <laughs> smile wave and jaw. am i dreaming he goes what am i dreaming right now what kind of boots are those Kevin Cosner, he like he probably actually oh, thinks like he like kills. He's like, like confused. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's, he's not. He, I don't even think he's in character right he's now. Like, yeah, am, no, I, am I legit- in with wolves? He's legitimately confused. He's like, yeah. I killed Wyatt Earp just last week, <laughs> and now I'm at the field of dreams. <laughs> oh fuck! Goes, Who are all you people? I know. He, he gets a microphone. He goes, everyone, welcome to Yellowstone. <laughs> Would you walk up to the mic? You Just be happy. 
look happy. He's supposed to look like he's in awe of everything and like, whoa, what the hell? And nah, then because look, all the players come out of the cornfield. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. They, they all swim. How much better would it be if he smiled, waved, and jogged up, and then all the players followed him out of the cornfield? Yeah, I don't know. He's yeah, just, Now he's doing like a fuck. Oh, my God. Here we go. Now that? the Field of Dreams music starts playing. He's like, oh, my God. What's he got in his fucking a baseball? Okay. And his sunglasses. And his sunglasses. Are they, you think they're playing this music a lot? Yeah, they're playing it throughout the oh whole stadium. God. He's looking around like he has Alzheimer's. <laughs> and then look at, look at the team come out of the cornfield. That's not the original team. Yeah, goes, that's, Wait a second. That's not the 1952 Yankees. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> One dude just grabs his dick. <laughs> <laughs> he starts yelling at the cops to arrest them. <laughs> I'm waiting for Trust these guys. Passers. He's like, number Trust. 40, stole my wallet. <laughs> Half these guys still have ink on their fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so you guys get it. That was, you that was thought, great. He really took that very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Actors man. are just I fucking love that. They have, they have mental lost, problems. Oh, they're all mentally. They're mind. all insane narcissists. Completely mentally ill. Uh, anyway, uh, back to Amber lying about sexual assault on the stand. Oh, sh- oh fuck! A sexual assault. Johnny Depp's not capable of rape. No, that guy's a fucking. Come on. And Kevin Costner. <laughs> Look at this fake crying. <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> you see all the people comparing her to Rittenhouse? Oh, yeah. Rittenhouse, <laughs> Rittenhouse was better. Hey, he was. <laughs> oh, my At least Rittenhouse better. actually went through something. Right, yeah. He thought he was no, no tears. Never. You ever seen anybody? Uh, well, how are you gonna see tears, Devin? It's like a fucking so three sixty. Like you you can't. Her makeup would run. Moving you would see air. tears. No, yeah, I mean, it's pretty tear. clear. It's all what fake. Yeah, she's a bad actress. She looks like this disheveled <laughs> milk lady. What's she saying? This fucking seedless. She's testimony. like, she's like, I know what'll get him. I'll, I'll dress like I work for Swiss Miss. <laughs> 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 Wait, 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 come on, go back. Well, that was, that was, the, that was, I don't know why that that was just the clip, but, um. Uh, what's she saying? She's just whining like a little bitch. She's whining like a bitch. And, uh, okay, so here's, here's this thing. This kind of apparently is a big deal. This kind of blew shit open. There's this new unheard audio recording from Australia, and it's proving her very, very Why wrong. is this all taking place in Australia? Because every weekend for them was just a vacation. They're going to Sydney. They're always just going places to hang, like, and do drugs. <laughs> Did I do this to the whole floor? Sit down, sit down, sit. Listen Who's here. This is, I think it's the doctor. This is Amber in a video she herself recorded of the actual Australian Why incident she? where she admits to have caused a lot of damage. Why does she work for the KGB? Glass, Why is she always recording while shit? Sobbing her heart out. Because she's been trying to fucking uh, build a case. Because she's a psychopath. Around the room. I remember... <laughs> she claimed that she couldn't remember anything cackling? except broken glass everywhere while she accused Johnny of making that mess. This new audio also has her admitting to hurting Johnny. I love him. I never meant to hurt him. Is there something we can give her? A nurse so says. Sorry, because she didn't want to lose him. But yesterday, during court, she claimed Johnny was the one who assaulted her and hurt her. You're gonna kill me, and he. Won't even have realized it. What? What? While listening through the entire recording, no one is talking about Amber's injuries, but are all concerned about Johnny. We are really concerned because he got a lot of pain. A lot of pain. He's got a lot of pain. Also, blue paint. You saw it. The doctor's present. Dr. Kipper and Debbie Lloyd, who are members of Amber's medical team, looked and sound concerned for Johnny's severed tip and how it might infect it, but don't talk about Amber's so-called horrifying injuries. Johnny's head of security at the time, Jerry Judge, says on the phone that Johnny is the priority at the moment and not Amber. What, what, what I do not want to do at the moment is jeopardize what we're doing with Johnny, because his finger comes first. And you know what, seriously, you know, she has to stay here an extra 24 hours to get him sorted out. The only injury on her is scratches on her arm, which Jerry believes Ain't are self-inflicted. Damn right. Damn 
I've seen what strikes before a lot of people. It's not only this thing, just self inflicted. Mm. They're self inflicted. <clears throat> If Amber had had any serious and horrifying visible injuries on her arms or legs, as she claims, someone would have mentioned she did or even she herself, but no one throughout the entire recorded clip is heard mentioning it. And she's even heard sympathizing with Johnny. Poor Johnny, Amber says, I love him. Yesterday, she claims that this incident happened at night, and the next morning, another incident happened of Johnny peeing on walls. Johnny took his... Um, They're all trying to like pants and uh, go pee, tit for tat try, with like peeing pee, and shitting yeah. everywhere. Outside of the house, but the new audio yeah, peed outside. That the happened early hey, morning. Piss on the wall. He didn't premises. shit the bed, he Amber. The hospital getting his finger piece back together. And rest in peace, Kevin oh, Samuels. I'd love to hear his take on Amber Heard. Oh yeah, Kevin Kevin Samuels. You'd just be like, so what do you want? Exactly. <laughs> he goes, what do you want? I just want you someone gain to, by to hit and he hit. Well, why do you think he would have to aggressively hold you back? Is it because you severed his middle finger, you crazy bitch? He goes, I saw Zombieland. It's a subpar performance. She, she You're in it for zombie? four minutes. You stink. <laughs> you know, she's in Zombieland for a second. Uh, she's never bitch. really been in anything. She's a terrible actress. She's yeah. not talented. She was just hot to be. You were an Aquaman. Stay underwater, bitch. Yeah. Just stay there. You're drowning, bitch. You're drowning, bitch. <laughs> Only people that I love you are underwater. I would love to be the head of a security like team for like a celebrity and have to deal with a crisis like Michael Clayton or something. You know what I mean? I'd like, love to. Know, have, I love how this guy's talking like the priorities, Johnny. Yeah, I'd love to have anything happen. Self-inflicted wounds. <laughs> this is bullshit. Anything. To happen. I'd love anything to happen. <laughs> Just something. Good I'd love to, to be a part of anything where anything happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just drama. You know, I'd love to be like. You're know, working for a team of people. And yeah. Sure. Somebody Feel gets like you have a community some, around. Somebody's you. kidnapped. Oh, cool! Yeah. Now we gotta we get to focus on this for till till we. <laughs> Devin Devin's always been. Till a big we solve fan of, the kidnapping, or you've always want to be on a real stakeout. It'd be funny. Out. Devin's working with this. Love guy. stakeouts. Yeah. Love yeah. the sound of rain hitting the car. Yeah. You don't really know what your purpose is, but you're yeah. sitting and you're waiting. Yeah. Didn't you got didn't, a couple sandwiches? Got a with sandwich, you? a yeah. coffee. From Maybe, you listen. You listen to the radio. You listen mm -hmm. to a ball game on the radio. Yeah, I love it. Didn't we do that? We used to do like that. We used to, get, we used to get so bored, we would just go sit in my car and like drive to a neighborhood and just sit in, like outside of houses. I don't remember this at all. Well, you know. Jesus. Corona did a number on me. You'd suck me off in these <laughs> neighborhoods. <laughs> That's what you do, uh, Blacking it out. I love a good steakout, though. <laughs> I'd love to be a Why don't we do that I, again? If Devin, if Devin worked with this guy, he'd be like, it's about Johnny right now. His finger's seven. Devin! He'd be like, ah! <laughs> you'd be like, you'd be like just, just drive the car yeah, yeah. over to the hospital. You crash the car on the way there. <laughs> I probably would. You just get scared. They go, Devin, you go, ah! I'd probably fall for Amber. I'd be like, I don't know, guys. She's pretty fucking hot. You're like, I'll take Amber. <laughs> like, I'll take Amber tonight. Is it illegal to follow people? I've always been curious about that. When I was yeah. doing, uh, so I was thinking we could do a stakeout, but we could actually just like. I think pick you can a follow people because PIs. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, just pick a I've guy. I've always and wanted to follow a random person. PIs <laughs> do it. Yeah, my dad used to do that in the seventies. It was like he used to tell Different stories. Different rules back then. I know. He said like he's like I used to do shit that would you just get I would get arrested for. They would just pick a random person and just follow them in their car. My dad would just really? him and his friend Art would just follow them in their car, I and like people had, would like flip out. I think it's legal. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, well, how do you prove any yeah, harm? How do you prove it? You know, hey, I just live around here. <laughs> I guess you'd have to be dumb enough to like if someone confronted you, you'd be like, "Yeah, I was following you." You'd at like, worst, oh, well, now you're getting arrested. What if you just go? Yeah, I, think, I was following I think, you. I think at worst, the cop would just be like, "Where do you live? All right, writing report. Get out of here." Yeah, that'd probably be the worst thing that happened. Probably, yeah. Mm. Take a little note. But you'd, you'd probably be a dick to the cop. Be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" People follow around. people all the time in like road rage. Yeah, you know, incidents. You I, do? Yeah, I threw a full cup of coffee at a guy's window one time, and then he followed me up the two freeway, recording me. Yeah. I had an Asian guy get out of his car, Korean guy get out of his car in uh, Koreatown, and, like, come up to my window and be like, Hood up! Ah! And, like, start punching my window. Oh, dude, the Korean guy shit. did that to me. Yeah, I just stood, I just sat there smirking at him, making him very oh, dude, angry. I, I remember I was with my friend and his dad. Uh, his dad was in the passenger seat, like, old man, like, you know, like, old, pasty, white dude. Uh, and... We're driving it, and then the guy cuts him off, and he, he like lays on the horn. And his dad, like I guess, taught him to do that. Is like you hold the horn down and like just follow the guy. And the dude, it was a pretty nice car, pretty cool black dude. 
just like stops the car, like screeches to a halt, pulls over, gets out and like walks up to the car and he's like yelling at him through the window. And I just remember my friend's dad the whole time was like, beat his ass, Sean. Beat his ass. Beat his fucking ass, Sean. <laughs> Don't fucking <laughs> telling his kid to and, kick and my, the shit out of him. And somebody. my friend is like staying sort of tough, but also like, I'm not no, dad. putting the window yeah. down. I'm just like, get it. And he was just like, go, get out of here. And his dad's like, kick his fucking ass, Sean. Kick his fucking ass. Interesting. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was a psycho. And that man was the DC sniper. <laughs> I remember one time I embarrassed and like a 70-year-old man in front of his wife. Uh, me and my brother and my dad were walking across uh, Pacific Boulevard in, in like uh, Santa Monica. And these guys are riding bikes. This dude's old guy's riding a bike with his wife. And then my, my dad's like an idiot and just doesn't know what's going on around him. And my brother's it's like 6'4". Or, you know, my, yeah, 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 my brother's, brother's like me, but brother's he's huge. A big, 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 a big boy. And he's walking behind me, and I was just pissed off that morning. And my dad's walking across the street, and this guy is on his bike, and he's on a leisurely ride. And my dad, my dad walks in front of him. The guy goes, "Bicycle here," and then I just remember I immediately shot back, "Shut the fuck up, you old faggot!" In front of his wife. <laughs> oh Jesus! I went, "Shut the Christ. fuck up, you old faggot!" And he went, "Fuck you!" And then rode off. Oh no! But I remember my brother started jogging after him. Was like, "I'm gonna fuck you up." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, swear, I swear to God. That happened in front of his wife. In front of his wife. His, like, his, wife old... was like, his wife was like, Jimmy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or like the best thing ever is my behemoth of a brother starts like slowly jogging after the guy. Like if you don't stop, you got to keep going or he's going to kick your ass. I swear to God. Uh, uh, same friend, same dad, yeah. this story. But when his dad was like really young, he told us this story like trying to, I, I guess, seem cool to us. I don't know what his intention was. But he was like, yeah, I was riding a bike. Uh, down like the pe- there's like a trail near his house or whatever. He grew up in the area, so he's like, I was riding down that path, and uh, two two uh, black guys they they come. One's behind me, one's two in front of me. Guys. One's in front of me, and I'm and I'm looking at him. I'm high, and I'm, I'm I'm getting skeptical. And the other one, you know, the one from behind me pulls, and and they ride off, and I'm like. They're trying to fuck with me, so I so I ru- <laughs> <laughs> trying to fuck with me. So, so black I, bastards. These black bastards are trying to <laughs> fuck with me. Kill any black bugger I could find. <laughs> My friend had been raped. <laughs> I have a special set of skills. <laughs> so he rides. He catches up with them, just because they sort of made him feel weird. And just like he catches up with them and then uh, uh, like bashes into one of the other guys. Oh bike. And, then, and this dude also was like a rugby champion. So yeah. he's like a tough dude. Bashes into one of the dude's bikes to take him out. The other guy like obviously stops. He's like, yo, what the fuck? Goes to fight him. He, ta- he grabs like a rock or something, like throws at him. Just like beats up these two black dudes and just like rides Jesus. off like, fuck you. What the fuck was this? Feech Lamana? <laughs> What did wait wait, wait what did He's, they do again to they, even start did, it? One rode in front of him, one rode behind him, and we're like trailing him and to like try to like jokingly scare him. Maybe, maybe, oh. maybe. Hmm. Yeah. And then and then they rode off. I remember. Uh, and then he caught up. To, he caught up to them. Wow. And being, and then he, they fucked <laughs> the wrong one. My, He's uh, a psycho. He's he he died. He's dead. My dad <laughs> uh, yeah. was killed by some bicyclists. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy Sean had a da- his dad. I had this buddy who was like from like. What if that was it? John just goes. My buddy Sean <laughs> yeah, had a dad. dad. Anyway, no, this guy was like a union. This anyway, guy was I got like shit. This guy was like a union you. painter in Chicago, right? And like he, I remember we were, and he, he was, he just. It, Sean lived in like the last like white hood in Chicago when I was like nineteen. I remember going there was like three city blocks of just like poor Irish people. Right. And like I remember Sean just Aesthetic. Sean's dad just yeah. being a union painter. He's always his dad would constantly just get in fights on the red line in Chicago. That was a thing. And like he gets, and one day we're like sitting there with his dad, and his dad just admits to killing a guy in front of a liquor store. Yeah, this is just an episode of Shameless. <laughs> it was insane. No, Don't was just like, talking about you. <laughs> no, no, no. This guy, this guy goes. I was drunk, and I was coming out of a liquor store, and this guy pulled a gun on me, and I just, I, I didn't even think. I just grabbed the gun and pushed it up, and the guy shot himself in the head, oh my <laughs> and God. I ran away. Holy shit. I was like, what the fuck? I guess that's technically not killing somebody. I guess yes. not. It was like a slip accident. His own accident. The guy's was, maybe own the fault. guy lived. Who knows? Maybe he shot his jaw or he something. He didn't come back and had to file the a plea. Fuck no. Was a, he just ran off. Yeah, he and just that was ran it. off. That's what I would do. I'd Did he read leave. about it in the news at least? Or I don't know. Like, yeah. Interesting. I love random acts of violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always you know. There's so many of those where it's like just somebody slips and falls yeah. wrong, or mm-hmm. that happened at the fucking Union Station. Somebody lady slipped. Got, and lady fell got wrong? punched in the head and then she got killed. My transient. 
Jesus. I don't love that random act of violence. That's a let's scratch that. That was now, random acts of violence are the, scariest, the scariest thing, thing that ever could happen. happen. Yeah. They yeah. Uh, uh, I don't I don't yeah. I don't flash my lights to tell people their lights are off because of that old that old yeah Devin always gets nervous at me because I gang honk. of the gang members that, that where they would like if you flat if you if they would keep their lights off on purpose and whoever flashed them first to be like hey your lights are off like turn them on they would kill you yeah I'm a so I'm a I prolific never, honker and road rager and flasher yeah I don't honk I, I only honk if I'm really fucking just going crazy but mm -hmm. I I really try not to I I'm very I road rage is very real people get. People will just fucking kill you or shoot or beat the shit out of you. Yeah, in L.A. at least, I don't know. Yeah, doing Postmates and Uber and shit and having those long days stuck in traffic and I, we were going crazy and mm. I, I would just see people at their worst all the time, including myself. I was terrified. Yeah, remember mm. when that guy got shot? The delivery pizza driver. Yep, he's honking the wrong dude. Dude, got yep. shot yep. him to death. Yep. And I remember I needed a job at the time, and I was trying to gauge the right time to walk in and be like, hey, you guys have an this opening. This guy's made bank. I saw you guys have an opening on the news. Uh, <laughs> somebody was killed uh, that worked here. You walk in, you're like, sorry. You I have experience. He goes, sorry about that, but hey, I don't I don't honk at people. You walk in wearing a bulletproof vest. You're like, I'm I go, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for this job. Yeah, you're dressed uh, like Gus Fring. <laughs> 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 you have an you have a ankle pistol. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's wrap it up a little bit more of this uh, Amber stuff, and then I'm sure we get, we're get we going to get more this week. It's it's just a... I can't believe this thing's still going on. Dude, I it's going to go on for two more weeks. Damn. This trial is fucking... Who's the last person to take the stand? What a gold mine. Fucking Amber Heard, I think. I think so. I love the picture they have of this guy. He looks like a Bosch character. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> The audio also shows that Amber admits to having gotten angry with Depp and that she was the first to punch him in the face. And she admits in the whistle that she hit him first. She actually hit him in the face. And she, and she admits to me, she threw him first. She threw a bottle But during her testimony yesterday, Amber used she claimed to walk Johnny into Johnny's house and this guy would be like, you're a cop. You're a cop. <laughs> you're a cop. You're a cop. You didn't look at me. You're a cop. <laughs> you're a cop. Citizens <laughs> trust. <laughs> you can't spell citizen can't like spell that. Citizen yeah, like that. In the I'm starter going of their to be argument, late for supper. and that she'd never heard him. <laughs> what makes us believe that Amber is actually lying is the fact that this new audio is the audio she herself had recorded she cute before chubby submitting it as evidence in 2016, meaning it's not manipulated or anything. But when it's cross-checked with all the stories she formulated yesterday, it just doesn't match up. The audio also shows that she herself had indulged in drug use. Why do you think she's doing coke? Maybe she did that. You think she's using coke on the side and then that screws their medicine? I'm not sure why. I, I would love to be a security guy being like, she's doing a coke. It's fucking with her for pills. You know what I mean? Like, you got all this, like, inside info. I'd love to be a security guy. I'd love to just yes. be a doorman in New York. Yeah. <laughs> you can't you gotta stop doing coke. Yeah. It's fucking with your BPD. Just being a door guy medication. in New York. Johnny, you know, Johnny Depp gives you fucking 500 bucks every Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. look, Thank you, Mr. Depp. You got a long coat. <laughs> you got a long thank coat. Thank you, Mr. Depp. Much Thank appreciated, you. Mr. Depp. Much obliged. He goes, happy holidays <laughs> to you and yours, Mr. Depp. <laughs> <laughs> I could be that guy. Yeah. I'd, I'd, throw, I'd throw all this away for that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you wear a little hat? I'd wear a little, yeah, I'd wear a hat. I'd love to tell people about where to go. I'd be like, oh, you know, you, well, you know, Rockefeller Senate, they're doing the ice skating, you know, uh, around this time. Uh, you know, anyway, Doorman Devin. Whatever I can do for you, Mr. Depp. You have a good one. Hey, Devin. Hey, Mr. Depp, I'm not too sure about your other, your, you know, your, your other girl, your girl here. Oh, Devin, where should Amber and I go to dinner? Oh, Mr. Depp, there's a great natural wine bar up the street, corner at 73rd and, uh, and uh, Houston. Where's the, best Ita where's the best Italian food? Oh, oh Mr. Get... Depp, you got to go to Quality Meats up up the block. That's where the mayor goes. All the biggest people go. And then you know, everybody in New York also, they always know where, like, Derek Jeter lived. They're like, oh, Jeter had a house over there. <laughs> Uh, I'd love to be a door guy though. Just <laughs> chalk, ch just, just, because you can just chomp it up with legends. And they're yeah. just like, that's Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all oh, are. You're coming in kind of late today, Mr. Oh. Dev. All right, well, let me get you to your floor. All right, that's great, Dave. <laughs> PH, that's the penthouse. Big spend up. Oh, bye my bye God. Now. <laughs> Miss Streep, somebody had a long night. <laughs> let me get you to your room. <laughs> Yo, you let me get those bags from you. Looks like you were at uh, Macy's all day. I don't know. It's like a 1950s uh, New York. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you for the burger cookie, Mrs. Strep. I appreciate it. Oh, my God. I love these chocolate tops. 
Uh, you guys are going to Peter Lucas later? Here, here, let me get some cash for you. <laughs> Uh, Doorman Devin. Doorman Devin. I love Doorman Devin. Doorman He's a Devin. charmer. Oh, How you doing, Mister Devin? Yeah, it's a, a, go to Red Eye down in Manhattan. It's got a great raw bar. Yeah, what's, what's, what's your face, Mister Depp? It looks a little bruised. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the top of your finger? Where's the top of your finger, Mister Depp? Uh, don't worry, I'll hit the buttons for you. I don't want you to hurt your Mr. finger. Mister Depp, everyone move out of the way. <laughs> I, I, I push all the regular. Everyone that's not a celebrity, I just push out of the way. <laughs> uh, I, I, what, if some, what if somebody wants a picture of Mister Depp? What do you do? Oh, you go, uh, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, 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 no, I go, I no go, flash I photography. Go, I would go, I would go, uh, I go, no fucking pictures! <laughs> <laughs> and then I turn to Johnny Depp, I go, sorry about that, Mr. Depp. We try to keep a tight ship here. I don't know how we got in here. <laughs> hey, you know, that, that, autograph. that's Somebody Jimmy. Autograph. No fucking autographs! <laughs> and then I turn to Mr. Depp, I go, sorry, Mr. Depp, I don't know how we got in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're always letting people in, but freaking out. I let them in, and then they do something, and I go, wow, fuck! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. They're like, is this the same? We just like, no! (laughs) (laughs) It's like a kid with leukemia. They're like, I want to be, I want It's the the fucking Make-A-Wish Foundation shows up. What do you do? You're going to make Mr. Depp depressed. Get the fuck out of here. Listen, I feel very bad, but Mr. Depp does not have time for this. I have cancer. Hey, we all have it coming, okay, kid? Listen. Can I just get a picture? Can I just have one picture? No! <laughs> <laughs> I always flip out, and my accent goes away. <laughs> Anytime I flip out. So Johnny Depp's like, is this guy actually like a New Yorker? Like, what is going on? Anytime he screams at people. Devin, screams. Devin, it, I'm telling you. It's it always o- gets really shrill. De- Devin, it's okay. I'll, I'll sign the autograph. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Depp. I just don't want these people bothering you. You know, you, you, know, you pay good money to live here. It's, you know, you, you know, prime real estate. Um, that's my a, job. Can I have a picture know? too? No! <laughs> Devin. Uh, Sorry, Mr. Depp. I don't know what got into me right there. <laughs> Devin, Devin, it's, it's, it's okay. You know, just how's your family doing? Ah, uh, you know, they're okay. You know, Ma's got the cancer and, uh, you know, my. <laughs> <laughs> Ma's got cancer. Oh, my God. Uh, what type of cancer does she have? Ah, uh, uh, colon. You know, her whole asshole's rotting out. <laughs> <laughs> that's a. That's a yeah. <laughs> It's 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 yeah. Ask for another autograph. Yeah, uh, so anyway, I'm a huge Get Johnny Depp. <laughs> Je- Devin, Devin. Devin, Devin it's, uh, I'm telling you, it's fine. <laughs> please, please, just like nobody just fucks with Mike. Hey, I just want hey, a picture. No. Listen, hey, Johnny, Hold on, come on, Devin. Mr. Depp. Come on, with ones. Cat. Can I get a selfie? Can Shut I- up. <laughs> <laughs> De- Devin, please, could you just take me to my apartment, please? Jimmy, just, just Jimmy, get me to my Jimmy, condo. Mr. Depp. Get me to my uh, uh, Of course. Uh, of course, Mr. Uh, Depp. I have a leukemia. I want a picture. Get the fuck out of here! You cancerous fuck! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Depp. I don't know what, I don't know where these people came from. Uh, oh just, just forget about it. I hope you don't have anyway, the next story. Anyway, for, for, anyway, Mr. Depp. Do you think I can get like 50K? Of course. Can I get like fifty thousand no, dollars? Yeah, of course, Devin. Yes, I'm, you know, they call me Doorman Devin. <laughs> that's, just, you know, that's what I do. You know. Anyway, if you want a great chopped cheese, a chopped cheese. Hey, there's a bodega down there. Don't let them charge you the dollar for the orange crush. No, no, it's no. only fifty cent. No, Johnny, <laughs> you tell them. You know, you tell them I sent you, and it, and and you know, you let them know I sent you. It should be all free on the house, on the <laughs> house, Johnny. He's like, no, I have a millionaire. I want to pay. I want to pay. I want a millionaire. <laughs> I want to <laughs> pay. I don't want a bodega. I want an apple. I want a green or red apple. <laughs> <laughs> a green or red apple. Johnny Depp's the type of guy. He comes home. And- <laughs> Johnny, I love the because he's such a meander. Like He takes forever to talk. He goes, I want a green or red apple. Maybe a Bruce banana. <laughs> a green or yellow banana. <laughs> Johnny Depp's the type of guy right, like, I don't know The, right, the yellow right. the banana Is the more sugar content And the banana You know <laughs> <laughs> The 
<laughs> Johnny Depp trying to decide on fruit. <laughs> I have the, the cotton candy grapes. I mean, I, I've no seen them advertised. Uh, I don't I'm, know if they're that good. I'm quite, I'm quite hungry. I mean, uh, but an orange looks like a bit much. But a clementine. <laughs> a clementine. I'd, have have, I'd have to have two clementines, but then a I might clementine. as well. If I have two little cuties, I might as well have one orange. I mean, uh, he's the type to name one of his kids Clementine. <laughs> clementine oh, that was the fucking Depp. the beginning of the Rolling Stone article written about him. He literally walks out to meet the journalist screaming, uh, singing My Clementine. Of course. Whatever. Yeah, it's insane. Of course. Uh, remember in uh, the show Girls, John? Mm. Remember, remember, <laughs> remember uh, what's her face's boyfriend, the guy Desi? The guy that plays guitar and he's like an actor. But he's like a total New York douche. Remember him? Uh, yeah. That's like unsuccessful Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. remember that? Remember that one scene where they get the cabin in the woods and that was like yeah. And he like loses. He's on opioids and he like Holy breaks shit. it. Girls is actually like a great. That was hilarious. Show. It was a great show. Yeah. I wish it ended with Underrated. a nuclear explosion. That's how it should have ended. <laughs> everyone dies in yeah, a nuclear yeah, yeah. fire. That yeah. would have been a mess. Yeah, that would have been great. But yeah. anyway, anyway, nice to see you, there, Mister Depp. Just one. You looking just, good, yeah. there, Mister Depp. It's a, it's I think I got it. I, I Doorman Devin. I'm like I love I'm in. I love Doorman. I could do this Devin. forever. Johnny, I'm a big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, I just want to see you and touch you. And I just it, stab. It, I just <laughs> shank you <laughs> to death and the <laughs> throw you behind the counter. Yeah. Throw me in a trash can. You fold me up into a trash can real quick. You, you go ahead. The legs flap up. I appreciate uh, you being a fan. I'm just I'm quite tired, and my doorman here is like trying to let just, me in. Just one. It'll take two seconds. Just one picture. It's no, for my no, mom. It's for yeah. my mom. It's for my fucking mother. Oh, you know, I'm very tired. I'll be out in just a few hours. One no, no, no. Picture. Mr. Depp, you don't have to deal with this. Mom. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> All right, we gotta go. I'm, I'm going to get kicked out of my own fucking place. Uh, uh, is this the episode? That's a good app. It's a good app. It's a nice. It's done about an hour thirty. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh like shit! We're giving you what you need. We got a lot. Did you guys do the page? Um, we did a page a few cool. days ago, but we could we could do well, one for the. We have to do. No, one for I, this gotta week. Go. I gotta yeah. go. I gotta go. To Not bed. now. Well, we got a Patreon extra episodes, so that's a that's a good way to bring that up. Yeah. Patreon.com slash uh, hate watch podcast. Um, Manscaped promo code hate watch. Get uh, 20% or 15%. 50, or, something you, like that. Know, get, it's like, off. You get like 50, 50 You're buying cents it off. to support us. We'll just buy it. Know? If we get to I mean, eight, we'll stop bringing it up and then blah, blah, and then blah. We'll re- we do, then, we then, promise then, we'll negotiate. They're probably using us and it's a complete scam, but I don't we know. We're, trying to, we're trying to do this right. I don't know. Manscaped and promo then, code hate watch. We're close. We're trying. We're getting to 1,000 on Patreon. The if fight is coming. Joey, who is absent tonight, <laughs> Joey is a lovely man. He he just refuses to not fight a, a amateur, likely Mexican. He won't Hispanic fight. Boxer. He refuse. He, he at this point now, Joey Hispanic Joey boy. is now insisting on fighting a, a pro. Yeah, he wants to. He he said he wants someone maybe who's done some pro fights. He no. a thousand. That's we get to the a goal. thousand. We're we're you know we're a hundred and forty away. Just you know somebody could just fucking go in there and, and give us a hundred and forty dollars, and the fight could happen in a month. Yeah, mm-hmm. easy. But mm-hmm. you know. We'll just see. join up. It's a good place. Just join up. There's a lot of fun stuff happening on there. Yeah. And if you also join the Patreon, you get access to tons of personal videos that I post of Pers- our, our yeah. drunken, ridiculous mm-hmm. nights. You yeah. can see video of Joey going around town, all the stories I tell in the sh- you know, so ton of extra, ton of extra crap. Yeah. And also, it just makes us feel good because uh, this is uh, what we're trying to do. So mm-hmm. thanks for listening, folks. Yeah, God bless you. you. We love you all. We love you all. Later. Love Bye-bye. you guys. Good Bye. night and good luck. And uh, Shut up. and uh, pray for Kim Wexler. <laughs> pray for the great Kim Wexler.